Hello one and all, my name is Ryan Bruce, my friends call me Fluff, and today on Rift Spirits and Gear, we are going to check out the Z-Rec Junior from Dr. Z Amps. Whenever I think of a go-to country and or blues amplifier, I generally think of Dr. Z. Now, I have a good friend, uh, James Schultz from the guitar store, in Seattle, and he used to be a Dr. Z uh, amp dealer, and I used to go to his store, and I used to try out all the Dr. Z combos that he used to carry, and I loved all of them, but I never went away thinking, this could probably chug. I mean, it just wasn't, it wasn't even something I really even tried. Well, today, we're gonna try. Now, before we go any further, I am working with Dr. Z. They have loaned me this wonderful amplifier to show you guys, however, all thoughts and opinions are mine. Now the amplifier we have here today is the Z-Rec Junior. This is the little brother of the original Z-Rec, which was designed for master guitar killer himself, Brad Paisley. So this is a post phase inverter master volume design with two EL84s and a very, very simple control layout designed to let you kind of dial in a tone quickly and effectively. There is low, high, cut, preamp gain, and master volume. No effects loop, no bells and whistles, that's what you get. Now when Dr. Z reached out to me asking if I wanted to check out an amplifier, I thought, yeah, challenge accepted because what these are, are single channel, harmonically rich sauce boxes. Now my uh, resounding memory from trying a lot of these amplifiers in the guitar store several years ago was they always took pedals really, really well. And to that end, I'm going to try something that's probably never been plugged into a Dr. Z ever, but a Fortin Blade Whitechapel boost pedal into the front of the Z-Rec Junior. We're gonna see if this thing, uh, you know, can chug, can get heavy, as it were. So let's go ahead and hear this in the context of a mix. All right, so now that we got the full mix out of the way, that was a lot of fun, by the way, uh, let's go ahead and do a little bit of a playthrough, a little bit of a casual knob twisty. This time, instead of my Fishman equipped music band, I'm going to get my 60 standard Gibson Les Paul, and I'm also going to use a uh, Raya clone, uh, clone clone, as it were. Again, you will see me turning this off and on all throughout the playthrough, but this amplifier just really takes pedals to the next level, especially something like a Klon versus rather, you know, something like a, an Ibanez Tube Screamer or something like that. So this is still gonna leave the low end intact. I'm gonna let the cut knob do its job. And uh, yeah, let's get saucy. <laughs> Thank you. 
So what do I think? I mean, honestly, using amplifiers in an unconventional way is is very fun. It's a lot of fun. I like a good challenge. Not that this was a huge challenge because the Z-Rec Junior is so, it's so crunchy and full of just nice harmonics that just drip off the notes. It just really lends itself to doing a heavier kind of music, especially when you had something like an octave pedal, which, you know, I, I doubt one of those has ever been plugged into a Dr. Z, Z-Rec Jr. as it is probably, but you know, I haven't seen one. Anyway, this amplifier is simple, it's effective, it's saucy. I don't know, I really like it. Also, it's great for all around rock tones, clean tones, and if you add a pedal, you can get nice and heavy with it too. I will link down below in the description you have been wonderful. I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.